So this is the third annual uh, Resuscitation Academy. We are hosting it for the third year in a row, which is great. It's to benefit sudden cardiac arrest out of the hospital. Uh, we have representatives from 15 to 18 fire companies that have come in to get the training today. And it's like an advanced CPR. Uh, we give them a little bit more information as to the why they're doing it and to hopefully benefit our patient outcomes. We're seeing a lot of improvement across the board with this new technique, the pit crew CPR, uh, which gives everybody a role. Uh, they have a pre-designated spot when they walk into the home for the patient and it just benefits the patient to have that hands-on time on the chest. Science has shown that the more we do compressions, the less possibility of that heart not getting the kind of oxygen that needs to pump around and up to the brain. Um, with this new type of technique, we are able to improve outcomes because we're minimizing that hands off the chest time. So the stations include the pit crew CPR methodology in and of itself, where you place yourself, how the rotation works during the, the cardiac arrest itself. We also focus on ventilations. Uh, we do a specific station for bag valve mask ventilations to improve uh, our technique. We also do an integration with the paramedics as well um, to include what happens when a paramedic crew arrives on scene with that BLS component of doing the compression. So it's one of the things that we kind of touch on, especially in this, in this academy itself, is the uh, community aspect, getting the education out to our public making programs that make sense to people and mitigating that stigma of having to do mouth to mouth or oh I don't have to touch them or I don't know what to do and I should I be doing anything. Um, it it kind of gets that information to the public in a better format and if we can just do hands only CPR it definitely benefits our patients in, in those first moments of a cardiac arrest. Right.